Hey guys, so I thought I would do a just quick little video here to show you some of the fun stuff that I've been working on with the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark IV. And it's all housed inside this awesome little Pelican case and I'm super stoked about something uh, finally in proof of concept that I can share with you guys that I've been calling Tango Mode. Because it takes two to, uh, you know, actually it's even better. How's this? How's this, right? Oh yeah, two pineapples at the same time. And that's what I'm going to be showing you uh, here. And it actually turns out it is much easier than you might have thought it would be. Uh, the obvious benefits are that with two Wi-Fi pineapples, uh, one of them can be your gateway that provides internet access, um, thus freeing up the internal radio to be used for things like the jammer or also uh, using it uh, for with network, uh, network manager to relay a nearby access point or uh, to tether to over Wi-Fi. I'm using mine with a T-Mobile 3G modem. It's great, you can just walk into like a T-Mobile store with cash, don't have to, you just, they ask you to write your name down on a sticky note, which is awesome. So, um, so that one is providing my internet access and I'm using it with Jammer to do deauthentication attacks. And that is tethered by ethernet over to my second pineapple, uh, its USB port is being used by a uh, SanDisk Cruiser Fit providing me extra storage and it's also running the Karma attack that we all know and love. It turns out it's really, really simple to get this going. Really all you have to do on your second pineapple is issue this. Just pop into your uh, you know, execute commands area under advanced and uh, set your LAN IP address to 172.16.42.2 and then your gateway to 1. It's that easy. And then everything is just gonna go ahead and route through your first pineapple. Now, I like to change the SSID names. I know that uh, since the later, uh, I think 2.3 firmware and beyond, the SSID names are actually pineapple and then the last two octets of the MAC address. I prefer to call mine like Mark 4.1 and Mark 4.2. You can come up with, I don't know, Bert and Ernie, come up with something cute. Uh, so here we go, I have on the left is my first pineapple and on the right is my second. And so as, uh, as I explained, the first one is the one that's connected to the internet. And I'll do a IF config here and you'll see that this is the one with the 3G WAN connected to T-Mobile with my uh, mobile broadband USB modem. And it is no other configuration change whatsoever. And then this is on the right my second Wi-Fi pineapple. Again, default configuration, the only change here was that I changed the IP address to a dot two instead of a dot one, and I changed the default gateway uh, from dot 42 to dot one. It's really that simple to just get started, and as I can see on my one on the left, if I ping www.example.com, um, because I'm boring, I can uh, see IP, uh, you know, I can see ping replies there. I can ping something uh, google.com. So yeah, everything is happy on this end. And if I go over to the pineapple on the right, all of the traffic is routing through the first pineapple. And so you can already imagine, I now have two man in the middles and both of them having, you know, the 400 megahertz MIPS, the, th uh, the 32 megs of RAM, the you know, uh, the USB uh, for whatever it may be, a Wi-Fi radio, a 3G modem storage that I'm using uh, right here. And so this is pretty cool because there's already so many awesome apps in the, uh, uh, in the pineapple bar or infusions, if you will, in the marketplace that um, we can do some pretty nifty stuff. So here we go, here's the web interface. This is so great because I literally just connect through my connection manager to Mark II, right? And now I can access both of them because it's like having a uh, local area network with multiple computers on the LAN. It's really, you don't think about it any differently. So just as I could like reveal my public IP address on the one on the left, repeat, reveal my public IP address on the one on the right, they're both gonna come back with the same IP address. They're both on the same network. So aside from that one difference that I said, the, the second pineapple, you just have to change its IP address to dot two and its gateway to dot one right here real simple to do make a note of it uh, because you don't want to lock yourself out of the pineapple of course if you do reset button on the bottom hold it down for seven seconds you'll be good to go if you, if you get that you know get a little messed up with that stuff but um, you know no other major configuration changes now of course 
since both of these are pineapples, they both have the Mark IV Karma service. I only enable it on the one on the right, the one that ends in dot two. I do not enable that on the very first one. I could, you know, run into some problems with two Karma services fighting over each other. So I would rather, on my first one over here, save the internal Wi-Fi radio for Jammer. Awesome uh, uh, service from uh, Whistlemaster. I'll go ahead and maximize this here so you can see the interface a little better. And um, you know, mad props to Whistlemaster. This is fantastic. If you haven't used it before, real simple. Go ahead and install it from the pineapple bar. You'll want to stop both interfaces. So hit stop under WLAN interface. Hit stop under uh, WLAN monitor. I'll go ahead and do both that done. Stop monitor. That'll take just a moment. And that's done. And I'll go ahead and take a look at the whitelist and refresh this because I want to make sure that I do not um, destroy my second Mark IV. I don't want to uh, to kill the uh, the Mark IV on the other end. So I've actually already added this here. Um, this area over here on the left will refresh with all of the different um, access points. Oh, I guess it's because I didn't select. Okay, so this is started. Stop monitor mode, bring up monitor mode. Okay, mon zero is now there. If I refresh, okay, so here are the access points nearby. And all I have to do is click on, now I've rena renamed it to MK4 underscore two so I can keep things straight. I've already added that in so I don't need to add it a second time. Uh, and then any of these nearby I could also whitelist if there weren't, if there were some, uh, you know, good access points. So I'll go ahead and save that, and I'm all set to go. Literally, all we have to do is uh, click start on my jammer, and oh, I guess I'll uh, I'll give you a demo with my phone. So let's put this on the left, okay, and come back down here. And so I've got my uh, Galaxy Nexus here, and let me pull up Wi-Fi settings. And I'm actually connected to a network right there. You can see it says Leet. I am connected to Leet. Okay, you also see one down there called Beefcakes, uh, which obviously is not, uh, which, which is actually the Mark IV service on my uh, second pineapple that's broadcasting that. So I don't want my client here to be connected to the, one, uh, the 31337 network. Yeah, I want them to connect to Beefcakes, which is my Mark IV over here. Quite simply, all I have to do is come back up to my jammer and hit start I'll come back down to my webcam and you can see as soon as I started that oh saved connecting and connected and so now I've convinced the you know nearby clients with the help of uh, of Whistlemaster's awesome jammer uh, application there to go ahead and do those deauthentication attacks with whitelisting and blacklisting so that I can say, hey, only let them connect to my uh, buddy here, MK42, or, you know, come up with something cool uh, for your name conventions. But, uh, but yeah, so again, just like normal, you know, I see my status here. I can see beefcakes passed through. I can generate a detailed report and I can see beefcakes. And in a moment, uh, or if I, yeah, here it is. Uh, if I do that again, it'll show me the IP address and all of that other fun stuff. And so my, um, my clients are connecting through and it's, you know, really that simple. And so now I have one that can be dedicated to doing awesome man in the middle of attack stuff while the other one can be dedicated to, uh, you know, doing deauthentication attacks and also managing, uh, the 3G connection or whatever other relay you may have using network manager or um, uh, or another method of tethering whether it be you know 3g connected to uh, an android tethered phone or what have you um, and yeah and so you know also another cool thing ettercap now on the wi-fi pineapple some cool developments there so you know we really should be able to with two of these guys be able to put together some sort of uh kitten internet where everything gets de everybody gets connected, everybody gets kittens. That should be fun. All right, well, I just thought I'd give a little uh, update on that. Uh, I got everything squeezed into the uh, Pelican case here with the new uh, Wi-Fi pineapple uh, juice battery pack. 
So look forward to that. It's uh, over 9,000 milliamp hours. Talk to you guys again soon.